Conservancy property at Cheyenne Bottoms and I noticed that there's some, some mowed patches and then I came over and we've got a lot of disc areas over here. So what you doing, Rob? Well, that's a great question, Mandy. What I'm trying to do is create ideal shorebird habitat. See, most shorebirds that visit Cheyenne Bottoms like to feed in areas that is less than half the height of the bird or no vegetation at all. So after the grazing season, we go in and we mow all these big patches anywhere from 10 to 25 acres. And then I'm going now today, going into these areas that are, you know, wet during the springtime, hopefully what we call ephemeral wetlands like this one here, which there might be water standing in there for a few weeks to some of our seasonal bases. So we're trying to create that short grass habitat, but also if we get the rain, the mud flats. So how many of these patches do you have? We actually have nine of these big patches scattered around our 8,000 acres right now. Okay. And what birds specifically are you trying to attract to these areas? Well, that's a good question. We're trying to attract all the shorebirds, and we have about 40 different species that have been recorded here. But particularly, these areas that hopefully will be wet in the spring, things like leaf sandpipers, uh, baird sandpipers, even, uh, oh, maybe some white rump sandpipers. But what's really neat is uh, the upland parts that are short grass will attract American golden plovers, upland sandpipers, buff and sandpipers. So it's a win-win situation. If we get the rain, even this short grass will have water standing in, so with the mud flats, but uh, so we can have all, all kinds of shorebirds. But if we don't get the rains, there's those birds that I just talked about, American golden plovers and things like that, that like to keep their feet dry and actually use uplands rather than wetlands. I guess the question is, is it working? We started this kind of work here back in the fall of uh, 2017 and during using our international shorebird surveys we have uh, recorded a 55% increase in shorebird use during spring migration. Awesome. Thanks for joining us on this first episode of What You Doing Rob? Hey, come back anytime and ask, what am I doing?